So good morning all. So my first abstract is the single fraction shear tactic versus conventional multi-fraction radiation for for three completely non-spine bone mates. A randomized phase two trial. We don't have robust data fraction RT for non-spine bone mates, but still few literature has suggested that single fraction RT is equivalent to multi-fraction RT. Multi-fraction RT suggests that twenty grain five fraction. Or 30 grain 5 fraction, 30 grain 10 fraction. But in spite of these higher single fraction RT results in higher retreatment rate. It's some literature has shown is 2.5 times. However, it is also less expensive and more convenient for the patient. All the clinician in this world is very much familiar with multi fraction regimen in 30 in 10 or 20 grain 5 fraction, and more comfortable. And patient are and also physician are more comfortable with long term outcome, and it is also durable. A previous study, RTG 971 for a study, this this included patient with breast and prostate cancer. Almost 900 patient were randomized in 8 grain single fraction or 30 grain 10 fraction to see the clinical effect as pain and narcotic relief in patient with variable is complete partial stable response. Secondary outcome was there were retreatment rate, quality of life, toxicity and fracture. The clinical outcome between two fractions in regimen. That DPI means that brief pain inventory score was not significantly difference between the two arms. Mm -hmm. Also, overall response as complete, partial, and stable, or progression there was no difference. If we take the survival outcome between two fractions, median survival was 9.1 in 8 gray and 9.5 in 30 gray and 10 fraction. Also, complete auditory response, orthonarcotic, pathological factor, retreatment, toxicity was no difference between two arms. The conclusion of this previous study was 8 gray was as equal to 30 gray 10 with pain in our body clinically. However, there was similar rate of pathological fracture, but 30 gray 10 with more toxicity and also retreatment rate in single fraction was higher. In 2007, a systemic review which included 16 trials from 1986 onwards, this pool data is shows that there was no statistically significant difference with single fraction compared. In terms of objective response, com uh, complete response, pathological fraction, cord compass, our retreatment rate in single fraction was 2.5 times compared to multi fraction. So now coming to the current study, which is single fraction SR SR SBRT versus conventional multi fraction SBRT for pain relief in patient with predominantly non-spine bone mates, we included 163 patients, randomized 166 60 patients. In 79 patients were treated with multi-fraction regimen and 81 to the single-fraction regimen. So, primary objective to evaluate single versus multi-fraction in terms of pain control, and also secondary objective to prospectively report pain, quality of life, often orthotic, acute and late toxicity, local control, survival, and re-RTA salvage surgery in later course of time. If you see the patient characteristics, there was most of the patient the primary include breast, esophagus, head and neck, liver, lung, multiple organs, pancreas, prostate, and renal cell carcinoma. So total 160 patient, 79 in 30 grain 10 fraction in SBRT arm. Total 81 patient that are is stratified with those with 12 grain single fraction, those of lesion more than 4 centimeter, and for patient with less than 4 centimeter lesion, the dose was 16 grain one fraction. The PT was GTB plus five millimeter margin. So, if the clinical outcome as pain response over time, but per protocol analysis, if we see that patient who receives single fraction over multi fraction, they are well responder at two weeks. Also at three months, and also nine months, and that was statistically significant in single fraction compared to multi fraction arm. If we see at two weeks, it is sixty two percent in single fraction. 36% in the multi fraction arm if we assess the intention treat analysis the patient who receives single fraction have got better responder at two weeks and also three months compared to multi fraction arm if you see the progression free survival in the sbrt arm two years at two years pfs was completely 100% however in multi fraction it is 90% on one year and 75% at two year If, if, see, if we assess the re-RT rate in those patients who are treated, two-year re-RT rate in SBRT was zero percent in the current study. However, in multi-patient, it was five point three percent. However, the difference was not statistically significant. 
If we compare the similar result, the present result with the previous bone pain trial, 1992 to 1997, that shows that one year re rate is double in single fraction compared to multi fraction, with eight day to 20 grain fat. One of the possible causes could be because the less BUT dose given in single fraction arm compared to the current arm, which is given a higher BD compared to that bone pain trial. So I think that could have translated equivalent result between the SBRT and multifraction arm. If we assess the toxicity between SBRT and multifraction, that the hematitis was, was, uh, uh, was still grade one and not more than that. The other toxic nausea vomiting was also limited to stay grade two mostly and grade three were very few. However, one patient, the SBRT was very gratifying. The result, the patient presented with acute urinary point against a loss of sensation. After being 12 grain single fraction SBRT, urinary sensation was regained, function was regained, removed, police catheter was removed, removed after three weeks. So, in conclusion of this study, the higher dose single fraction SBRT results in more durable pain response compared to standard multi fraction 20 grain 5 or 30 and 10 and should be recommended for patients with good KPS or with long life expectancy. This is minimal toxicity, safe and also effective treatment and higher dose of SBRT could be in future could be a standard of care for bone medicine dose at present we don't have a much robust data and so RCT with higher ability dose as SBRT with combination of immunotherapy or combination of chemotherapy it need to be evaluated in prospective study in future. Thank you for my